Good morning ladies and gents and a very warm welcome to Phil Weaver Automotive here in near Brow Village between Preston and Sunny Southport and this morning I am delighted to be showcasing our latest vehicle to use car stock this rather awesome Volkswagen Golf it's the R model 2 litre TSI 4 motion DSG 5 door hatch in lapis blue now the uh, before I start with the walk around video giving you uh, uh, the in-depth uh, insight to this vehicle um, if it's in the uh, morning you're watching this video or during the course of the week uh, grab yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee uh, if it's the weekend or the or e early evening uh, on a friday uh, grab yourself a cheeky beer or glass of wine uh, my video is not a quick three minute see it now uh, main dealer style video uh, where they thrust the uh, camera inside uh, the vehicle, run around the vehicle and say, there you go, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, there's your video. Um, so a little bit more detailed uh, than that. Uh, give you great insight um, to this particular vehicle. So when you're ready, hit the pause button, grab yourself that uh, drink and then uh, sit back and enjoy the video. So just for reference, if you're looking to obtain an insurance quotation from the likes of Go Compare or Compare the Meerkat, please, please use Whiskey Romeo 69 Tango Victor Lima as your registration number, WR69TVL. So this Golf R was registered on the 27th of the 11th, 2019. It's covered 45,243 miles and has two previous keepers, that's three in total. Uh, started life out as a Volkswagen vehicle, uh, then a quick ownership with the uh, second, uh, or with the first private uh, customer, and then the lady and gentleman whom I have bought the vehicle from, so I've bought it direct from the private seller. They have had the car for the majority of the car's life. Um, it has one Volkswagen service plus three independents. We have just got the car back from Homeswood Garage, the local independent garage that looks after us, uh, where we have carried out the pre-delivery inspection, MOT, and the Haldex, uh, which is the four-wheel drive system that requires servicing, that's been done, and also the DSG gearbox, again, that has been serviced. So this car is prepared and ready to go. Now, the previous seller, uh, who lived up in, uh, just outside Glasgow, uh, traveled to Edinburgh on a daily basis, uh, so that's the car spent most of its life on the motorway and uh, to be fair the there is some um, what we class as like light chipping around the front of the car and the bonnet uh, which has actually been touched in and we have also ceramic coated the vehicle as well uh, just to um, protect the bodywork um, and I have to say it looks absolutely superb the vehicle has been balloted in detail by Ben, ben Valentine from Vals and Balloting. So I shall take you around the, uh, the car, uh, give you a little bit more insight to the vehicle. Um, start off on the driver's side front wing. Just to bring you down here. We've got the uh, matching tyres all round, the fabulous 19 inch Pretoria alloy wheels, uh, finishing like the titanium grey paintwork. We've just further enhanced that by putting the black centre caps, um, sorry, the, the black uh, wheel nut covers over um, the nuts, just to, I think, sort of it further improves the, the look of the wheel. Um, so, looks superb. There is, I noted, a tiny, tiny little chip on the wheel there. I do have some paint similar, so that's probably just gonna get a dab uh, just to um, take your eye away from that little chip on the wheel. 
We've got the daytime signature lights, which look awesome. This vehicle is also equipped with the um, lane assist, which incorporates the traffic sign recognition in conjunction with the dynamic light assist as well. So you've got the cornering lights, uh, which is this section here in the light. So as you turn, it sort of shines and brightens up the road in front of you on the, uh, you know, on the, on the corners. Um, it also has the, as I say, the dynamic light assist. So that's the main beam switching on and off um, as you're traveling at night. So one of the features. Windscreen is clear from any cracks or any bullet holes. There will be some very minor um, chipping, as we say just with the motorway driving, but nothing to, uh, to, nothing to write home about. Uh, but as I say, I like to give a full uh, description of my vehicles. Um, I have, in the years we have been doing home deliveries, uh, never had to uh, return a vehicle. My descriptions are as described. Um, so everything that I point out, out, sorry, point out, point out, out, point out on the car uh, will be as you see it. Now, a lot of you will say, well, that's nothing. Well, no, but we, you know, we have pointed it out. Just like to give a very honest opinion. I'm very transparent, very open, uh, very clear. So we like to ensure that describing our vehicles accurately. So the chipping, as I mentioned, you can see on the bonnet here, sort of across the nose, really, of the, of the car. It has been touched in, as I say, and we have ceramic coated the, uh, the car as well, just to help protect it uh, further for um, any motorway journeys that you may be doing. So coming around to the near side front, Lovely. We've got the R logo on the uh, black brake calipers as well. So, a little chips there again, they've all been touched in. And just take you then down from the front to rear. Again, and down to the alloy on the passenger side rear. So there's no uh, dents or scrapes or uh, bangs. Just a um, lovely vehicle, as I say, described to a T. I'm just gonna break off for a second just to highlight some of the specification details on this car, tell you a little bit more. So I've mentioned the 19 inch Pretoria alloy wheels, which really do uh, set the car off, it is really the, the, the wheel for the Golf R in my opinion. We've got the rear view camera, which is incorporated in the back of the uh, VW badge. And we have privacy glass, or the, da the darkened uh, tints right the way around from the B pillar uh, backwards. Uh, keyless entry and start. Uh, the mirror pack, which is the auto fold uh, door, door mirrors. Uh, R sport suspension, which is lowered. Um, slightly as part of the standard specification. Uh, it's got the Discover navigation, the touchscreen, multifunction steering wheel, uh, paddle shift, uh, giving you the opportunity to create sort of like a, a semi manual feel to the vehicle, um, a bit like an F1 car. <laughs> uh, it's got the uh, electronic differential lock, a winter pack, which is the uh, heated seats. Uh, heated washer jets, uh, heated door mirrors, um, yeah, heated front seats. And we've got lane assist, which incorporates the traffic sign recognition in, in conjunction with the dynamic light assist. So a lovely spec car. They are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I drove this car back just over 200 miles. 
uh, from, um, well, it was outside Glasgow, uh, sort of the John Johnson area. And it was an absolute pleasure to drive, absolute pleasure. So roof is all good. To the back of the car. Little bit of a mark there from you know where people have been putting stuff in the boot. This this happens. Um, one thing I will say, um, I'll never make a used car into a new one, but we do like to um, ensure that they are prepared to a high standard. So for us, it's absolutely valuable that you ensure that you're up to date with the uh, servicing and maintenance on the vehicle, such as the um, Haldex and DSG gearbox service. So we've uh, replaced the rear parcel shelf. There was actually a, I didn't note it actually on collection, um, but it looks like there's something heavy sat on the back there and it sort of put an indentation in. So I've renewed that. Uh, we've got the 60-40 split rear seat and the through load facility. Uh, we have a carpet mat on a boot liner. Uh, we have the hard floor underneath. And then underneath we have the space saver, wheel and tire, we have the jack, and the wheel brace, etc. Oops. The customer had replaced this. There was a like a crack across the um, uh, the VW badge and that has been replaced with a black cover which I think really does set the back end of the car off rather than the uh, chrome that's on the front. So uh, just a little bit difference, the four exhaust, the twin, the quad exhaust should I say, I'm going to say twin, or oh, the twin either side but the quad exhaust looks absolutely fabulous. The back of the bumper to say is unmarked. There might be a little, that's oops, that's a, a little mark on there which is now just rubbed off. They are badging the slightly, slightly, slightly darker uh, rear light clusters. We have the um, parking sensors front and rear but built into the bumper. Got these uh, titanium, uh, excuse me, titanium, um, like a sort of like a mini mud flap extension. Uh, I think you can uh, get them in plastic. This is like a titanium to the front, uh, to the rear, and to the front. So a little bit of difference, adds a little touch. Again, down to the driver's side rear alloy. It's just starting to rain, if you can hear anything in the background. <laughs> uh, just echoing on the, uh, the roof. So down from the driver's side rear to the front. The depth of shine in that lapis blue paint finish. Silver mirror caps. Really good reflection in that paintwork of the ceiling above. Door cards are lovely. I like this um, sort of a uh, more like a rock grey stitching on the panels and a, some more of a, a whiter, lighter stitching on the actual seating. This blue white on the kick plate, the passenger airbag on and off, some gloss, uh, sorry, some more like a titanium look inlay along with the gloss black surround for the centre console. Two keys importantly, we have the book pack 
all the paperwork. Seating's lovely. Got the R badge embossed in the seating. Carpet mats all around. Lost panels in the door as well. Excuse me, it's starting to rain a little heavier now. Maybe you just have to speak up a touch. Lumber support and the seating there. Got this, um, you could have class it as a velour but Alcantara with the, uh, with the cloth. There's more of an anthracite finish to the actual seating. You know, rather than black, it's more of a dark grey. So you've got your three head restraints and uh, seat belts. You've got your centre armrest with a couple of cup holders. That's actually adjustable as well. Quite a nice uh, touch to that. You've got your through load facility as well from the boot. Put that back into place. The rear ventilation there. And rear tailored mats. Little mark on the side there, that's just where the seat belt has been caught. Um, as I say, I'll never make a used car into a new one. Importantly, it is about the presentation and the um, pre delivery inspection that we do. I say it's a handwritten report and we provide our customers with a copy. That's been done by Neil and the team at Home and Garage, just down the road from us. Just a little bit of water there. there we go. But the the R phenomenal car. Probably been sort of selling these since they've sort of about 2017 we've had many in the lapis blue as well got the dark headlining and it does set the interior off as well so we have the power heated and folded door mirrors Electric windows all round with the switch to deactivate the operation of the rear windows, save the children or adults messing with your rear windows whilst driving. So we've got the auto lights again. Seating with this velour finish, Uncle Alcantara. The seating is good. Bolster as well. You get a little bit of wear, but again, nothing to, to write home about. A little cubby box here. The center console, the cup holders. The auto hold when your seat belt's on, you can the auto hold lights up uh, for the automatic handbrake. A 12 volt charger, just going to jump inside the car. Just turn that uh, Rock FM down, our local radio station. So, auto lights, uh, fog lights, I've mentioned the mirrors, auto folding, uh, heating. So, just to go those are the folding door mirrors and back out again got the lovely gloss black trim around the air vents across the top at the back of the steering wheel and down to the bottom of the console here the DSG gearbox which is absolutely superb if you've driven uh, with this DSG box Incorporated with the. I'll just, did I turn straight my wheels? Just give me a second. Did I straighten my wheel? No, I didn't. So, uh, just straighten the steering wheel up there. 
Uh, so multifunction steering wheel. Uh, you've got your settings at the back here as well for the um, uh, for, for your navigation, car data. Um, there you go, gear and speed, consumption range, efficiency, navigation, uh, all different settings. Loads of tech inside this car, which is brilliant. Um, you've got adaptive cruise control. Oh, that's me moving the uh, setting on the radio. Um, just wanted to show if I come off here, um, working my way around. View, so navigation, driver assistance. So you've got your little sort of compass on there as well. It gives you the uh, height of above sea level. You have the, so that's the foot that goes off when you press the brake. You have the lane assist here. And if you go into your settings, again, you can see the adaptive cruise distance um, this one, I'm going to just do that again. So into there, I've, I've messed about with this a couple of times. All this technology, um, vehicle status. So you get your telephone, audio, navigation, assist systems, driving data, lap timer, vehicle status again. Back to telephone. Um, check on the photos uh, you'll see all the different settings uh, that I've incorporated on the screen at the back including the navigation which I'm just trying to bring up now um, for the view so I'm going to navigation I want to view so navigation is on there is a way you have to bear with me ah oh, there we go there we are, that's better. <laughs> I thought I'm not, I'm not passing this stage until I've shown you the uh, the video, and that reduces the uh, length, the height um, of the. Sorry, it reduces uh, the rev counter and reduces the speedo as well, um, which again is is a lovely feature. You've got your large screen nav on here as well with your map. And then that then that takes it away off the dash. You've got media. Uh, there's photographs of my media hooked up. Uh, the phone's hooked up as well. Voice. You need to activate that by means of activation key. So contact your dealer. Uh, navigation apps. So you've got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Mirror Link. Uh, you've got your car. Go into vehicle status. Uh, We'll go um, settings actually, that's what I want. Settings, so you've got all your settings for your traction control, the tyres, personalisation of car, lighting, driver assistance, parking and manoeuvring. Um, so activate automatically, that's your volume settings front and rear, uh, wipers, opening and closing doors, instrument plus time and date, uh, service. So next service is the inspection service is 17,000 miles or 262 days. The oil service is 8,500 miles, again, 268 days. Radio back on there, you've got your heated front seats. Flow for the for the air recirculation of a dual climate. You can sync, so you can have your temperatures separately for driver and passenger, or in sync to both move at the same temperature. Uh, we've got USB port down here. Got the four motion badge, stop start, uh, park reverse neutral, drive and sport. So into D. Cross gives you a semi uh, feel, so you're manual, so you can go up and down the uh, gears. Um, you can also go into sport drive and down again into sports mode. Uh, that's your parking sensors. 
We have the rear view camera, mode setting to set the car up. So you've got the driving mode selection for eco, normal, race and individual. Auto stop start, traction control, uh, mention the auto hold. Uh, we've got the glove box, we've got the uh, SD cards there as well. Lovely slim rear view mirror, the lighting, got the glasses case on top as well. Got your SOS button, um, you can book in for service. These again have to be activated by the your dealer. Uh, but just a lovely, lovely car, um, which has been a pleasure to show you around. Please check out our reviews. Um, reviews is massive to myself and the business. Uh, we have 400 and, is it 445, 455 five star reviews. Uh, as we say, each review is a customer experience. Please log on to our website, which is philweaverautomotive.co.uk. We have a um, we have a finance calculator. Uh, we have a soft checker, so you can sort of check to see how you are with regards to your credit in finance. Uh, it doesn't go against your credit score. Uh, it's a soft checker and we have the calculator on the website as well if you look to increase the period for warranty we have an extended warranty that we use and we use warranty wise been with warranty wise now since 2010 motor novo we also have evolution funding as well i'm proud to say i'm a member and founder member of the imda imda the independent motor dealers association and we use the Diamond Bright Ceramic Performance Paint Protection. Uh, I'm sure there's something I've missed off in the sort of probably coming up to half an hour now. Um, the vehicle's here with us at Phil Weaver Automotive in near Brow Village. Uh, we offer free UK delivery, ask for further details. As I say, what, you, what you've seen today is what you get when I turn up or when you come to view the car. Give you another quick spin around the vehicle. 100 photographs on our retailer stores page on Auto Trader. 126, I think, on the website. We're restricted to 100 photographs on Auto Trader, but that 126, 127 on the um, on our website. Just a lovely, lovely example that is prepared and ready to go. If you wish to give me a call, you can ring me on the landline 01772 396 528, mobile 07817 463 uh, We're very, very social We're on all the social media platforms and WhatsApp as well. WhatsApp is our mobile number, so feel free to WhatsApp us for any further information. Uh, as I say, detailed advert below the video if you're watching this from directly from YouTube. Uh, also, uh, all the contact details and links below as well. Um, it's been fabulous. Thank you very much for taking the time to uh, uh, listen to me whilst I go around giving you uh, the insight to this awesome Volkswagen Golf R 2 litre TSI 4Motion DSG. Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.